In this BrightSign tutorial, we'll teach you the fundamentals of presentation creation. We'll do this by creating a basic full screen presentation. We'll start by double clicking our Bright Author shortcut on our desktop and creating a new project. We'll be prompted to name our project in the Save As field and use the Browse button to point Bright Author to the location in which we'd like to save our project. We'll then indicate which BrightSign model we have, the connection type we'll use for our display, as well as the display's resolution. The next option is for our overscan setting. If using a CRT display such as tube-based monitors and TVs, there will be some variation in how much of our presentation is visible at the outer edges. The overscan setting in Bright Author allows us to ensure our entire presentation is within a visible safe area as intended. No overscan will display our presentation right up to all edges of the video signal. We can use this mode when we are sure our display will show all pixels to the outer edges. Overscan Action Safe Area will keep our content within a slightly more conservative area that is likely to be shown by most displays. Overscan Title Safe Area will keep our presentation within an even more conservative portion of the screen. This should be used for displays that significantly cut into the visible area of our video signal. A little experimentation with the overscan settings will quickly reveal what settings will work best for your display. We'll click Create to proceed. The most basic layout for a BrightSign presentation is the full screen layout. We'll choose that option here. Now we're ready to start creating our presentation. One of the first things we'll notice in the interface is the playlist section. The playlist is a key concept in BrightSign presentations. A playlist is a sequence of one or more files of media to be displayed in a particular order. In the BrightSign environment, these playlists will loop or repeat and can include a mix of media types, including video and pictures. So let's start developing our playlist. In the Media Library section, we'll click Browse and navigate to the media on our computer we want to use. We can navigate to the Quick Start Kit content folder that was included with our Quick Start materials that we previously downloaded. Now we can simply drag the files, both photos and video, to the playlist in the order we like. To change the order of any of the files, simply drag and drop them as desired. Video files will automatically proceed to the next file in the playlist when the video finishes. Image files will wait a set time before moving on to the next media file. To edit details of images and video, simply right-click on the desired file and select Edit to view and change their settings. For image files, we can add simple transitions and set their duration. For video files, we can set the volume. And as easy as that, we have our playlist set. To complete our presentation, we need to publish it. This process packages all the necessary files for successful playback on BrightSign. For this presentation, we'll simply publish it to an SD card. We insert our SD card and go to the Publish tab. We'll select Local Storage in the top navigation. Under Publish To, we'll navigate to our SD card and finally click Publish Schedule. And we're done! The SD card is now ready to be inserted into a BrightSign unit that is connected to our display. Once power is applied to the BrightSign unit, playback will begin. Now that we understand the playlist concept and can set up a basic full screen presentation, we're ready to try out some more complex projects.